Hi, I'm Bob from Evolution HHO, and we are going to do a cell test the way it should be done in a vehicle. Uh, very rarely are we using cells on a bench, uh, maybe here or there for a torch, but what generally everybody's interested in is how does a cell perform when it's in a vehicle? And uh, it's a big difference when it's in a vehicle and on a bench. You can really dial things in to get cells to do a whole lot more. But, you know, that's just not real life. I'm going to go through this uh, installation I did in the Lincoln Navigator. I got it kind of set up, ready to go through here to do a test. So uh, let me rip through it quick here. We got your typical uh, measuring device with the float up leader bottle. Um, I have a five quart tank. I don't know if you can see the hose is going straight down. Here's the wiring, yeah. Okay, tell me about it. Shoemaker's kid wear bare feet, but it's not that bad. Uh, we got circuit breaker here. I got amp meter. We're running with a current controller at 20 amps. Um, we're running just a shade less than 11 volts. Let's call it 11 volts. Here's my current controller. It's Dan's. Um, fan's going. You can see we're hooked up correctly. What we're going to do now is we're going to go under and we're going to look at the cell. I'll show you the installation. Obviously, you're getting a good picture of stuff that you don't need to see, like my grill. <laughs> but here's the installation. The cell fits nice and flat against the frame. I have my ground isolating bracket. This is the all-steel design, and what I mean by all-steel design is you don't have end caps and you don't have plastic fittings over here, so it, there's just no chance of leaks, and it just seems to run so much cooler than anything I've ever tested in plastic. Uh, we're going to put the heat gun to it, classic heat gun. I think it is running at 90 degrees, obviously, well, we're right underneath the radiator, so... Um, Uh, running pretty cool at this point. I'm gonna come up and we're gonna try to do the impossible which is uh, start an iPhone test. Start, start an iPhone stopwatch at the same time while holding a camera and putting a hose on. So let's let's go with it right now. There we go. Come on. That was pretty close. You can actually go on the bottom of the screen. Uh, obviously, YouTube has uh, the bar on the bottom that shows time, so if I don't get it exactly right, well, you just review it from there. But in all fairness, this is the way every single test should be done. Tests should not be done on a bench. Tests should be done in a vehicle. That's how you use it. Okay, we're about 35 seconds, a little more than halfway up the bottle. And let's see, get the bubbles going. Looks like we might pass a minute. There we go, we had bubbles. I say we had bubbles at about 55 seconds, so. Uh, right now, I'm going to go back, do another quick relook. We're at 20 amps, 19, 20 amps. Bang, bounces back and forth a little wild bit. I don't know why. Uh, try to get out of the light there. 10, come on, 10.83 volts. So you can see, you know, generally good cells uh, with no hocus pocus. Really, really good bench tests are running say 200 to 205 watts per liter um, you're not going to find anything installed that touches this this is a fantastic system I'm sure you'd be very pleased with it any questions text me email me go to my website evolution HHO we want to hear from you take care